the Association of Wives of Ministers and Deputy Ministers, Bhakti contributed 95,000 ringgit to 19 welfare homes during a Chinese New Year luncheon jointly organized with YTL Corporation Berhad at JW Marriott Hotel in Kuala Lumpur. 350 guests representing old folks home, disabled centers, orphanages, Bhakti and the students of the University of Malaya were celebrated during the luncheon which also saw Bhakti president Datin Sri Rosma Manso led Yi Sang mixing followed by all present at the event. Pertubuhan Kebajikan Chester Rawang Chairperson Sirli Lee was grateful upon receiving the donation and says she would use the money to buy rehab equipment for the old folks. It really can help poor because the uh, centre really actually need a, a lot of puppy to uh, fund to help the, the poor. Lah. Especially for the bachelor, some they uh, don't have family for the O4 and the OKU. With this, we still little bit of party, the sponsor, so at least we can buy some equipment like the adjustable bay or some exercise uh, to do the uh, rehab. Independent Living and Training Secretary Gurdip Kaur says they had not decided what to do with the money yet, but highlighted that the money would benefit the members greatly. I would like to thank Bhakti for inviting us here to give us a cheque for RM5000. This cheque is going to be helpful to our NGO, which is Independent Living and Training Centre. And I hope that my members will also benefit from these funds which today we received from Bhakti. I, I was touched when she saw me and she first thing says that she liked my shoes. <laughs> Nobody has mentioned me that but I think Dr. Siri is a nice lady. Mm, I really thank her so much. Guests were also entertained by performances from Permata Seni Choir and students of Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Jinjang. Also present to distribute Angkor packets was Chairman of YTL Corporation Berhad, Datuk Yosu Min.